What is going on guys? It's your King Eminence here, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a creator class video on Infinite Warfare. Um, I see so many people in Call of Duty, I feel, obviously this is my personal opinion, this is what I use, but I feel like they're using the wrong classes. There's things that you could be doing or using differently that will help your team and help pull out victories, right? There are a lot of small things in this uh, video that a lot of you guys might not realize or have thought of yet. Um, but anyway, I just want to show you guys, like, right now we're playing an OSA meta, right? So, we'll start off by putting on an OSA. Got the gun. Now, for me, I don't use... I, I think the OSA is like the bow, right? In AW, we had... we Everyone used red dot on the bow in the first, like, month. Um, it turned out it didn't need to, like, be used. Once you actually get used to the weapon, you can afford to use four grip, uh, quick draw, and stock. Even for some people, stock might be like a question mark at this point, but I think it is more beneficial to use it. Now, like I said, if you're just starting off with the gun, maybe like play some pubs with ELO or like a few competitive matches. Like, use ELO. But once you get the hang of the gun, there's no point. Uh, perk ones, with the current way that the game is, everyone's spamming nades, so you need flak jacket, right? Um, also, dead silence is, um, these two perks are the most key perks in competitive, right? Everyone's going to be sound whoring, so you need dead silence to stop that, because it's way too easy to hear you. Uh, and obviously, blast shield, so many nades. Now, generally, I would say here, uh, momentum's pretty useless. Everything here is pretty useless except for tack resist and hardline. Now, your standard class should probably be this, right? Uh, then you also want to put on a jammer grenade to help assist stuns and EMPs, and then the flash hit grenade, right? This is the best class that you could probably use because most people will also be running this. Now, here's where things get interesting. Let's let's make take a copy of this class. Now. Say there is no one on the enemy team running jammer grenades or stun grenades, right? Why do you need tack resist? You don't. You might as well take that off and put on hardline, right? That they're, they're letting you get away with running a class where you're getting 120, you're getting an extra like 50 points per kill, which is going to help you towards your streaks. So you might as well have that on. But once again, just think when you're in the game, I'm not getting stunned or they're not throwing jammers. I'm just going to put on hardline, like or hardline. That's like, that's the best thing you can do. Um, another thing that you could possibly do is if they're not running hardline or, or nades, you can take off like both and then maybe run like a double nade or something like that. On a map like Scorch in the first hill, that can be quite powerful. Um, but other than that, like, to be honest, those are really the only main classes like this. However... In streaks, right? These are the streaks that I use purely because of what I'm about to tell you. A lot of people or top players will run Scorchers, Bombardment, and Warden, right? Now, if you get a Warden, that's usually a game changing thing. Until you realize how easy it is, okay, they call on a Warden, you go, okay, that's all good. Take, take off the things that help your team because this is only a temporary thing in the game. Put on Blind Eye. Blind Eye. Let's see. It counters Warden. That's, like, that's literally, the Warden won't kill you. And it's just one perk. Like, that that alone pretty much makes Warden irrelevant. And if everyone does that, you should just run Trinity Rockets. Because, one, they're going to get you kills if you use them correctly. And, two, it's going to feed your team information. Um, so, yeah, those are pretty much... And this works for every single gun, right? Keep this in mind. Every single gun... Just grip, uh, quick draw, stock, ERAD, K bar, um, MV4. You might need a sight, so that just means you have to sacrifice like one of your nades or something. But in general, those should be your three perks. Those should be your three attachments, and then you put on put on a nade, and then the jammer comes second. Nade should always take priority. Um, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much just my main classes. And then, yeah, I'd apply the same things to just other guns as we go down the board. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.